Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're doing a, uh, first on the channel we're doing a keyboard build. This is the uh, Play 100 keyboard from uh, the Capco and uh, it's got Otemu Brown switches along with a interchangeable frame for the top of it along with some uh, custom Sylveon keycaps. This is my first time building a uh, mechanical keyboard so I really don't know much of what I'm doing but I don't think it's gonna be that hard and the Capco was actually kind enough to go ahead and pre-install the switches for me so I didn't have to do that. So without further ado I'm gonna get into building this thing and Whenever I get it fully built and test it out for a little bit, I'm going to come back and let you know my opinions on the uh, Play 100 keyboard from the Capco. So, stay tuned and, and find out how this goes. Alright guys, and the keyboard has now been completed. Um, it's been a little while since I've completed it, and here are my thoughts on said keyboard. And a little bit of info about the keyboard if you're wondering. Uh, first off, we'll start with the info of the keyboard. Um, it is a it can be either wired or bluetooth 2.4 gigahertz um it is quite heavy heavier than what i originally planned on it being but i'm actually fully okay with that because it's a nice firm foundation for especially heavy gaming and there's like zero flex in the flex test which i really like the keys feel amazing they're not overly spongy they're very clicky very responsive to all the inputs which i really enjoy it's a lot better than like say my uh razor keyboard that i've been using note this is my first mechanical actual mechanical keyboard the wife over here has had one for quite a few years now of course hers is not custom but we'll fix that in the future um the build process, not bad at all, especially since the company did have, was kind enough to have everything, like all the switches pre-installed for me. Again, they were Otemu brown switches. If I'm not mistaken, you can swap these switches out for cherry switches as well, which I might consider in the future. I'm not too sure yet. The faceplate. Fully magnetic, it will come off no problem, and I've got a black face plate to, face plate to go with it. Um, final thoughts on the keyboard before I let you all go and end with a little bit of B-roll. Um, basically, building a keyboard can be kind of a daunting thing whenever you first really start thinking about it, but if you really just break it down, it's not that bad. Uh, especially if you go with sites with like the Capco that will actually put the switches in for you. They'll actually build the full keyboard for you. Um, with this keyboard, I'm probably in it about $190 for this whole thing, which for some of the keyboards I've seen out there, it's not badly priced at all, especially for what you get. And uh, this is not the uh, stock cable that came with it either let's just say I might have misplaced that and I had a secondary braided cable that I used I will be swapping this out for a white one and no the other one was not white either just so you know um, but yeah um, that's the best I can really say about the keyboard because I cannot really describe keyboard's the best right now considering this is my first mechanical keyboard build I've ever done and with that thank you for watching the video and we'll end on just a little bit of b-roll footage starting now <laughs> 